Jonesboro Parks and Recreations Director Danny Capalis speaking with the AMP Commission about bringing a sporting complex to town. Capalis says the first step would be figuring out what type of facility Jonesboro would benefit from. Jonesboro is the heart of Northeast Arkansas. Uh, we, we, you know, we need to make sure that we're planning for what this area needs. What is our, our strong points? You know, we're, we're strong in basketball. We're strong in volleyball. Those are those are key items. How do we build to make sure we're strong there? We're strong in uh, swimming. Capalis also mentioned key items needed when planning a sports venue while showing state of the art facilities in Alabama, Cape Girardeau, Georgia, Indiana and Benton. Capalis points out the strong swim community in Jonesboro, yet the town only has one pool. Many people spoke in favor of a facility, including one man whose daughter plays volleyball and tennis. There are very few things on earth that is as life changing for a child as sports and arts. I'm an advocate for both. Right now, we lack the facilities that all the other places in the state have. As McDaniel's family travels out of town for sporting events, he says he thinks about the revenue Jonesboro could bring in if the city has the proper facilities. The benefit of having everything in one place and it leads to more participants, which is to more money, which also leads to more people staying in, in, in hotel rooms and more people spending money. A prepared food tax was suggested to fund a future facility. City Council Member Reverend Dr. Charles Coleman attended the meeting and urged the AMP Commission to start the planning stages of the complex. Our children need these places. We don't have enough space now. Start appointing people, make a board as quick as possible, bring it to the community as quick as possible so that we can start on this process. Now, this was just an informational meeting, so no decisions were made. AMP Chairman Jerry Morgan says they would tentatively set another meeting date to continue these discussions. Sarah Doan, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.